Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi that lives in London but recently he's been traveling quite a lot and in today's video I'm alone in one of the most dangerous cities in Europe and also in the world so I want to share with you my experience and show you is it actually so dangerous and I will also share with you my 10 tips when visiting Naples because I went there as a foreigner and I have to say like I expect that I could get robbed or something bad could have happened and I don't want to tell you how many people told me not to go you guys fun fact uh, when I was living in Milan and like I still haven't been to Naples when I spoke to like one of my friends from there which is Italian the first thing that they told me about Naples is that it's full of trash and it's quite dirty and like they didn't really suggest me going there because uh, like it, let's just say it's a little bit infamous but the thing about the trash i have to say there is definitely something true about it let me just show you like how are the streets very early in the morning there isn't anyone it's super quiet but you can kind of see that a lot of things have happened around like you can literally see it from the mess, the bottles, the cigarettes and just everything that you can see on the street and like here and there you can still see like people that are drunk or homeless and my tip number one is actually to stay away from the train station and like the streets that you can see at the moment are around Piazza Garibaldi and even in the morning I was feeling a little bit weird walking around in there because you didn't really see anyone but you could see that many things have happened around and also I saw a couple of people like being super drunk just sleeping on the street or some of them like taking drugs so I immediately went back to the main street as you can see I was like a little bit in shock of everything that I saw so yeah it's time for some Italian breakfast I got a caffè macchiato a free biscuit and this spogliatella which is full of Nutella So this is the biscuit that they brought me. I can feel that there are a lot of <coughs> almonds inside. It's like all wrapped up in sugar. So it's super, super sweet. And this is the sfogliatella that I was telling you about. I look a little bit in shock, but I was just processing the amount of Nutella and like chocolate that was inside. No matter how do I look at it, I literally loved it. It was so sweet and there was like tons, tons of filling. And this is one of the very typical sweets for Naples, so you should definitely try it as well. Something that I can tell you for sure is that there are no other girls that are walking around alone or speaking in English. So I feel like I'm literally like one of the very, very few foreigners and especially women like alone in this city. People were quite like staring at me like, what the fuck are you doing here? And it is quite interesting to walk around the city because you can really see that it used to be like a really rich city with uh, like that was taken care of but I guess like the, when the years started passing by like it's it lost its power and like of course people didn't really take so much care of it and uh, buildings became abundant and as I told you they haven't really been reconstructed many of them and it is so obvious even in Sofia where I'm from in Bulgaria which is like in Eastern Europe I don't actually think I see as many abandoned city and places as I see in here just like look all of that And just a little warning and a pizza alert. This is the pizzeria of Sorbello, which is literally the best pizza in Naples. So just write this down and thank me later. And you see this cute narrow street? Well, actually, it's best to stay away from there because someone with a motorbike can quickly pass by and literally steal your belongings. 
and my next useful tip for you is to try to blend in with the locals just see like how are they acting and like the way they're dressed and try to dress pretty similarly and just don't be like a super shouting tourist with like a t-shirt i love rome or something and this brings me to my next tip which is not to wear anything too flashy like lots of jewelry expensive phone or just like expensive camera as well it's actually better to leave all your valuables locked up in your hotel and like ideally in a safe and always have a copy of your passport bank cards and you know this sort of things and the most useful tip i could give to you literally for any italian city that you're visiting is to learn a couple of phrases in italian and this will really help you get by and you will always get treated better if you're used to driving and you're thinking of renting a car in naples i would definitely definitely suggest you not doing it because it is very likely that something might happen to your car like they might break a window and like steal your belongings or also it will just be a big headache because the streets are super narrow and yes it is just a little mess and another area which is better to avoid is the Spanish Quarter because in recent years they, there have been a lot of petty crimes in there but instead you can go to the Centro Storico which is not that far from there. I have a question for you. Yes, how much is the upper oak spritz in Naples? Because like in London it is at least at least like 10 or 12 pounds. But look at the price here. Okay, and this is not a great example because I'm not following my own advice and I actually went around the Spanish Quarter and I have to say like during the morning it was all fine and I definitely enjoyed it because it has a, a lot of character and this is also the place where I found the Aperol Spritz only for one euro. And you guys, but still, no matter what, I would still suggest you to walk around Naples only with a small amount of cash because, you know, the more you have, just the bigger risk you're taking of losing it. And this is the gallery Umberto Uno in Naples, but if you have been to Milan, like, you would know how much it looks like the one in there. And it's actually scary how much the maintenance of a place can change the way it looks and just the overall vibe. And this might surprise some of you, but the station of uh, Toledo in Naples has been named from the Daily Telegraph as the most beautiful metro station in Europe and also in the world. And I have to say, like, it was pretty nice and I definitely didn't expect that it will be, like, so pretty and well-maintained as well. And something very key when visiting Naples or pretty much like any other like a bit more dangerous city is to always dress down. And overall, I have to say my experience in Naples was very positive and like all the reviews and things that you read online are like pretty exaggerated. I think you just need to have some common sense and you will be all fine. So if you're thinking about visiting Naples or another city which is a bit more dangerous, don't worry about it and just go and enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this video as well and I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe.